We've talked a lot about uh, these ghost kitchen things. You know, that's where you, for the listener, that's where you might uh, might just have a, a, a kitchen that makes food and you deliver it on uh, some of these delivery services. Or maybe you have your own delivery service, but you don't actually have a walk-in uh, yeah. restaurant. Looks like the newest person throwing their hat in the ring is Kroger. Yes. So what's this mean? They're going to allocate some of their space? Yeah, it's it's quite interesting. So ghost kitchen is something that a lot of people believe is an opportunity in the food industry, especially with most of these restaurants being shut because of restrictions. How, what does the restaurant industry look like in the future, whether it's uh, delivery or takeout? And so there's obviously Postmates, there's Uber, there's those folks that are also working on ghost kitchens. Travis Kalnick has his cloud kitchen business. Kroger, sleepy Kroger over there, someone came up with a good fucking idea. And the idea pretty much is to use their grocery stores as ghost kitchens. Like, So that means they're just going to like maybe carve out some space because like traffic's down or? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's... Kroger stores will supply ghost kitchens. So kitchens at grocery stores, I'm guessing a kitchen at a grocery store is humongous. And it's probably not being utilized. I mean, yeah, because you have the the meat section. The deli. That, and right? they've already cooked it for the night right. or mm-hmm. the previous day. Or they've already probably cooked all the food. They're massive commercial kitchens. Massive commercial kitchens that are not being utilized. And imagine now you walk into your local Kroger's and you can pick up whatever your favorite Mexican food is or pizza or whatever it is and let the ghost kitchen to me, the one flaw that still happened is that the best restaurant tours and the best chefs aren't utilizing it. It's a bunch of like hacky entrepreneurs that are trying to figure it out. But like, imagine when you could just, for example, like, down the street here is Casa Nori, mm-hmm. which I know is extremely popular, or Hi Ho Burgers. It's the Sugarfish yep. family. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That should be in every Kroger. Now in Minnesota, you get to have Casa Nori sushi when you go. And, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. and that place right. is not even expensive. Mm-hmm. It's just, they're just great restaurateurs, mm-hmm. so they're able to do it. So I'm trying to think like if Kroger can recruit the right chefs and the right concepts, it would. Think about the foot traffic you'll get into a grocery store. Because I think grocery stores do st- are going to struggle with foot traffic getting back to normal. But if you can, like, pick up your food for the night and go grocery shopping, right? what an experience. Do so you think yeah. that's the biggest benefit? I actually think the most impressive part about all this is they're willing to experiment with technology. A yeah. company like Kroger, which yeah. the last thing you'd come yeah. to your mind is innovation. Yeah. And Ghost kitchens really only became in fashion after Travis. Yep. Like, I'm sure they existed, and someone can DM me and say, oh, Ghost Kitchen's been around for 20 years. Maybe that. Casper no started the first one. <laughs> what? Casper. Really? The ghost. Casper the ghost. <laughs> Uh, there you go. <laughs> he really. Did you guys get that? So, anyways, <laughs> they didn't become. You thought the mattress company? I was like, what did you mean? The mattress company had a ghost kitchen? He's got a spec, though. Yeah. Who does? The CEO of Casper. Really? Yeah. yeah. Spec it. Give him a spec. Spec it. Uh, so, Travis Kalanick, I think, launched in 17, mm-hmm. He where he really put his foot into the cloud kitchen business. And Kroger is embracing it only three years later. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. And, and like, think it's about pretty it. impressive, especially Kroger. Like, it just seems like the last on the list. And think about... And guess where they're testing Think it. about physical retail clothing. Did not think e-commerce was going to be a big thing until like a couple years ago. Yeah. Who just said that? Zara or something? Who just said? Like, H&M. Who, yeah. Turns out e e-commerce thing is real. Oh, it's bubbling. Yeah. I mean, look at this. The uh, cities they're testing in it are in Indianapolis and Columbus. So, what? I mean... That alone is like they could own that entire. Yeah. And they're partnering with the delivery company to get it delivered yeah. too. Cluster yeah. Truck. Cluster Truck? Mm-hmm. Cluster Fuck. That's a great name. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Okay. 